Now, what about digital memory inside your head? Uh, this, is, this issue of knowledge, can we extend it? Yes, we can. We already have the technology to send a thought from one human being to another, and it's already happening in mice and rats. You uh, chips uh, are fused with brain tissue, um, and brain tissue loves and uh, recognizes instinctively chips. It grows into the surface of it um, so that you can communicate using brain and chip and receive information using brain and chip. And I say we have mice and rats that are communicating brain signals to each other, communicating when they're thirsty or hungry, and the other colleagues on the other side of the world in other cages are responding appropriately. Now, uh, so can we extend beyond that? What about this sort of holy grail of uh, being able to have a plug-in module to your brain? Uh, well, we're, the, we're there already, but perhaps not in that way. And of course, I'm talking about, again, things like um, uh, Google, um, the fact that uh, using do Google Desktop Search uh, this morning, I was able to search a quarter of a million files on my own hard disk in two and a half seconds. So I can file stuff I've never even read. Yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. People send me emails. I don't even read them because they're, they're stuff that I, I know I'm putting in a place where I, it part, it's part of my data pool. It's a document which has formed part of my knowledge pool. And if I'm on the move and I'm disconnected in any way, it's, it's a specialist areas, I can find that within one second, two seconds. Even though I've never read it and I didn't even know it was there. Up it all comes, pouring out. 